There we have it. That's the second big dint of the job done. Oh. Thank you, Concrete Company. As you can see, the laser set up. That's our dating line. That's no particular height. That's just supposed to measure down on. Hello, good morning and welcome to Thursday the 7th of December at 5 past 8. So, we've just arrived at work. We've been to Fairwoods to pick up the... Insulation? What type of insulation is it? I always call it PIR. The um, Celatex stuff, you know the stuff on the floor, the foil back, PIR stuff. So we've got three of them. We've got a jab light 25mm for the cold bridging strip. We've already got a piece of Viscreen cut yesterday that we put down to weatherproof it overnight. And we've got the other two pieces which are going to go under the insulation. So um, first things first, Alex is going to start bringing the sand round for the blinding, which we shouldn't need much of. I need to knock on the door and get the customer to open the back door so I can check the levels because uh, the doors are coming out and it's going to be a level floor through, which always gets, gets you a bit nervous. So um, it's just coming light now and it's not raining so far. It's due to rain all day, but heavier this afternoon. So the big push is get it prepped today and leave it. Try and get the concrete tomorrow morning. We don't want to be concreting this afternoon in case we're not ready. And plus it's going to rain really heavy, which isn't ideal for the floor. So um, we're going to work around the weather on this one. We've brought the tent just in case because um, if I'm taping the viscreen around the door, it's got to be bone dry. So yeah, let's get out there and get stuck into it. I mean, much in there, so that's not too bad. I'm gonna try and get this out and get all the water out with it. As you can see, the laser set up. That's our dating line. That's no particular height. That's just supposed to measure down off. So we're gonna open the door measure down to the existing floor, get that measurement and then check that measurement with our DPC level and see whether we need to add anything to it or, or not. Hopefully it's slightly lower. Um, yeah, that's it. So we need to get this out and get this door open but we need the customers to open the door for us. in on time lapse then we've had the door open we've dipped it with the tape and um, we've got 365 to the floor and then we've got 390 to our DPC so that's 25 mil lower than that so what we're going to do is we're going to stick to our DPC and just tamp it level and then it's going to be laminate floor inside the customers just said they're going to use laminate so if it is slightly low on the floor we can build it up with the insulation to the laminate so the main thing is we don't get the slab high. Not we don't want it high or more than 10 mil low. Uh, we had it. We don't want 50 mil low again, do we? Remember that one? I don't. I don't have any good memories from that job. No. I do. So I the cats. Oh yeah, they had cats. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. We switch the laser off. Well, leave the laser on for a bit. So I'm going to start. Um, we need about 30 mil of sand, more or less, all the way around. Nice and dry because we kept the uh, plastic on. The only wet bit is there, when, it, when we whacked it and it came through. But yeah, we're up against it here, so we're going to get, the, get it uh, sand blinded. We're going to get the, the two pieces of this screen in and taped up, and then that top piece is for the top layer. Everything's ready, so let's just get cracking and get it done. It's threatening, so let's get it cracked off. Up against it today, <laughs> as, as, as usual.
firstly, which isn't important at all, we just heard a bloody manhole that sounded like the bloody Avengers theme. <laughs> and then, um, but, can you, you hear me shot? The important part, we've rang up their building control, we've left a message because no one's in, so hopefully they'll get back to us soon. If they can't see us today, then tomorrow hopefully. We're not concrete today, so there's no rush, but obviously if they can't see us today, that's great. If not, fingers crossed for tomorrow when we can get concrete in. So that's just going to get this smoothed out now, see if we need any more, and then we'll uh, get started with the, the screen. Have you changed it for 4K by the way? Oh yes.
little speed bump, I think. I don't think we've got enough. I don't think we've got enough um, insulation boards. But we're going back to Fairwoods anyway because we need to order some more sand. So we might just get all this, get what we can set up now, get all the cold bridging in, and then have a quick break in the to Fairwoods now, maybe. Order the sand, get this uh, other sheet, and then um, get back here, finish it, and then head to Selco's to get this stuff. Your dry therm slab, cavity slab, 3 2. Best take a picture of that actually. They, they have it in stock, but they never know what we're on about, so we'll grab a picture. But yeah, so that's the little update. Um, I'll go help Dad get the rest of this strip in, and then we will go get some more insulation. There we go. What town are we on now? Let's have a look. It's gone very cold, and it feels like it's going to snow. It's 20 past 10. So we're going for a break, so we might as well get a break now, because we've got to go and get another sheet of insulation for that. That piece there, and that piece there. That's how short we were. And I've worked it out on the calculator, which is enough. But uh, never mind. I'll put a piece in the corner, jam the piece into the corner. Do you want to make a bigger piece here? No, it'll be alright. Get rid of that little piece over there. So there you go. Insulation's nearly done. Then all we have to do then is get that on top and we're waterproof and get it completely covered. So we've just got to get the sill off as well. And maybe just pack the insulation out along a bit. So, um, yeah, that's a bummer that. But um, I'm going to nip off and get the insulation and Alex can probably get a few bricks around and get this side loaded out at least. So, ag agonisingly close. <laughs> Here you go. Right, um, yeah. I'll go and get this and catch you when I come back. Hmm. Happy Friday. Friday the 8th of December at 8.30. Uh, yeah, happy fry up Friday. Yeah. I was just polished off his bacon butty. I know it's not a fry up but it's near enough. I've got my coffee. We were, we actually, we're, uh, Alex could walk from the spa from here, we're that close. <coughs> so it's a bit dangerous spending money. My money. He's off He's off to see near in 20 days, so he needs to save up to get for his flight and everything. Yeah. Mind you, he'd be working when he's over there. He's doing a stock take, stay near shop with her. <laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody's commented you need to get near to do the outro as a permanent thing. Yeah. Mm. So, the plan for today is, just rang the concrete company up, see if they'll drop us some concrete off, and they said yes, which is brilliant. Not often you can get them last minute like that on Friday as well. So he's put us down for R12, but we're just sat here waiting for the um, building inspector. We rang him yesterday, he said you're really supposed to give him 24 hours notice, but the way the weather's been, we can't really plan that far ahead. So. What we need to do is get all the water out of the, out of the visqueen which we put on top. We didn't film much yesterday at the end because um, it was pouring down, wasn't it? Yeah. We just need to get the visqueen on top and get it covered so that the um, insulation wouldn't get wet. So yeah, we need, we need to put that in properly, get the water out, put it back in and then cut it and tape it around the door hole, which we always do so it fits properly. And then hopefully by that time the inspector's been and in the meantime, we can't actually do any brickwork yet because the weather's not that fit. I mean, we could, but you don't know what's going to happen. And we need... I'm waffling again, but if we start doing the brickwork, we can't tamp across. So we're better leaving the brickwork till the slab's in. And he can't change his mind because we've left the tools at home. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, um, last night we got back and took the, give the... took the. There's a lining on the floor of the van at the back, so that we took that out cleaned all the inside of the van, all the floor and the liner because the van is going on auto trader tomorrow and hopefully it's going to sell in two weeks because that's when Neil's new van's coming. Um, what else? 
Oh yeah, we've got uh, a crap load of bricks there we need to um, get loaded out so we can probably load about 800 bricks out ready to start. So yeah, that's the plan. Uh, start loading out, as soon as the building inspector's been, get the slab done and then um, job and knock on the slab. So fingers crossed if it all works and the concrete comes at half twelve, it'd be nice to finish for two o'clock on a Friday. But I've said it now. <laughs> I've just jinxed it. <laughs> I said hopefully we get finished for two, so that's it. I've jinxed the day now. So uh, sorry we didn't film much yesterday, but um you've seen plenty of these anyway. So we'll see you around there in a bit. Got the okay from the inspector. Yes. Happy days. So we're, we're, we're on for concrete. Um, I, th I think we've already said this, but we're gonna get the bricks loaded out, have a quick break, and then Dad's gonna go back and pick up the wet dry vac and just like a few other bits we might just need, maybe some wellies. There's nothing in the van because we were cleaning it last night, so we just put in the basics. And whenever you do that, you always forget something. And in this case, we've got our wet dry vac to get all that out. But it's been given the A OK. Said it was a nice job. And I asked about the vertical damp, and that we're putting a vertical damp in, cut 50 mil in, and then vertical damp at the back of the outside skin, just to stop any damp tracking through. So we're happy with that. No need to cut the massive big cavity out. Um, from here. Let's get the rest of this bricking before it rains. our break and dad set off so I'll get this last pile moved up and then I think I'm going to start trying to bail out a bit of water so we've got a head start because the time is 10 past 11 roughly so we've got an hour and 20 minutes for dad to get back get that bailed out and get it cut into place in those corners so better get a move on
Thank you, Concrete Company. I mean, we appreciate you uh, being patient with us for 50 minutes. <laughs> That's how long it took in total. They were, they were due at half 12, and they came at 20 to, 20 to 12, so... <laughs> Now six miles away right? Yeah, Dad was uh, halfway home getting the knife for the... But yeah, so obviously we've we've gone overboard with it just to make sure we have enough. If anything else, it gets, gets dropped in the cavity now. Um, we're going to have a quick dinner because it's like nearly one now. Hmm? That's my cue. So we'll see you after lunch for the tamping. So I'll give you a little close-up look first. Well, assembly of our tamp. Just don't drop the screws in the concrete. <laughs> so obviously we'll place it down on our flat level wall. And then we bolt our piece of timber together and then there's our... That's our tamp in place. And when we're done, we just disassemble it and clean it. Easy to transport. Easy to use. It's a win-win. So there you go. Now, after lunch, we will be tamping. See you then. Looking nice. Almost finished um, with, the, with the tamping part. Hmm? The rain stopped. Knock on wood, yeah. So, yeah, it's looking very nice. Obviously, we've got to go smooth that out, give it a little uh, float in a level. So. This is the best way of doing a slab, making tamp from side to side. Yeah. <laughs>
I start taking some uh, unnecessary stuff back. You have to close. Please. There we have it, that's the second big dint of the job done. Second milestone, getting the, um, the slab in. So we'll be back here on a Wednesday, so that gives it plenty of time to dry up. Weather's going to be terrible for these next few days, so we're just going to take the weekend and then Monday, Tuesday, I think we're doing a fence with Jason, so maybe stay tuned for that one, we'll see. But that is the, 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 that'll be the end of this video. Thank you all very much for watching, if you enjoyed be sure to give a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell, that way you'll know when we upload, it's always a massive help and if you want to give any extra support to the channel for dad's uh, hip fund, <laughs> yeah, there's a super thanks under the video or in the description there's a link to dad's paypal direct so not necessary but really appreciated so thank you very much. This has been Brickling with Steve and Alex with our with a whole slab ready and we will see you in the next one.